Good afternoon, thank you for coming. At approximately three o'clock in the morning today, the Linwood Police Department received a call from the Cook County Sheriff's Police. They stated that there's a female in Chicago Heights that claimed she was kidnapped and her car was set on fire in Chicago Heights. She further stated that she lives at 19825 Orchard in Linwood and that her husband may have been shot in that residence. Linwood police responded to 19825 Orchard and found an unsecured front door. Linwood police swept the interior of the residence and located a male in the back bedroom. The male was a 56 year old black male who was found to have two gunshots to his chest and one to his head. He was pronounced dead on scene. The Linwood Police Department and the South Suburban Major Crimes Task Force are conducting this investigation and treating it as a homicide. Our investigators are aggressively following up on leads as we speak, although no suspects are in custody at this time. I want to stress to the residents of Linwood that this appears to be an isolated incident. And as always, residents should remain vigilant and report any suspicious activity to the police by calling 708-758-4744 or dialing 911. Thank you. Is there any information that was given to you by the wife that you can share in terms of who took her descriptions, anything like that? I have a very vague description of a male black. That's all I can uh, release at this time. How did she get away? Excuse me? How did she get away if she was kidnapped? The detectives are following up on that at this point. She says it was just one person who took her? Thus far, yes. Was the car recovered? The car was recovered. It was burned in Chicago Heights. I don't have an exact street address. Do you know what kind of make it was or model? I do not. Was the woman sexually assaulted? I do not know that. There are claims that there was a sexual assault, though. We've heard um, rumors that uh, whoever did this may have been targeting the woman. Do you know anything about that? That's the first I'm hearing of this. Were drugs involved at all? I do not know that. Is she hospitalized at this time? She is not hospitalized at this time. She is cooperating fully with our investigators. Was she injured at all? Not to my knowledge. How old is the woman? The woman is in her 50s. I don't want to give her name uh, just because uh, we still have suspects at large at this time and I want to protect her the best I can. How many people actually live in that house? Two. So no one else, children. just the man and woman, nobody else? Man and woman that I know of, correct. No children or no ch children? No, or no young children that I know of. Older children maybe? Not that I know. Was the man tied up? Excuse me? Was the, the dead man tied up? He was not bound, no. Why aren't you releasing his name? We can release his name. We have made uh, family notification. Uh, the victim's name is Eugene White, Jr. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you believe this to be an isolated incident. Does that mean to say you think that they were specifically targeted? The investigation is leaning that way. That, that's all I know at this point. So you don't think that there's you know, somebody out there carrying out home invasions and the neighbors need to be worried? I do not believe so, no. A relative told me uh, Mr. Wright had a really nice car. Do you think that was the reason why this whole thing they wanted to steal his car? I can't speculate as to what the reason for this uh, horrendous crime is at this point. So, but just to be absolutely clear, the wife didn't said that she did not know the person who uh, kidnapped her. I do not know that specifically if she knows the assailant or not. And she called from a cell phone or a? We had got a call from the Chicago Heights, or I'm sorry, the Cook County Sheriff's Police who stated that she had flagged down a car in Chicago Heights. I don't know if a Chicago Police, a Chicago Heights police officer had made contact with her or if she made it to Chicago Heights Police Department. So where was she at when in Chicago Heights when she flagged it down? Do you know where she I do not know. How long had they lived there? That I do not know, sir. Can we get your name and title? On yeah, the Chief Michael Mears, M E A R S. So 
So right, is, was there anything stolen of major value from the home? Not that I know of. Some of the family members upstairs seem upset that they're, they, they don't feel they're getting enough information. Well, this investigation is still very much so in its infancy, and uh, I would urge the family members to just remember that uh, the, the victim, the living victim at this time is being taken care of by police, and she's the only one that can provide us with the, the detailed information that we so much need, so desperately need in this case. Where is she? She's at the Lumen Police Department. Okay, you're, you're talking about the woman? Yes, yes. And the claims of sexual assault have not been confirmed yet? They have not been confirmed yet. The, 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 uh, the rape kit was done at the hospital she was taken to. St. James or? St. James, St. James, yes. What kind of blood? Blood spatter. Blood spatter. Uh, yes. I don't know the caliber at this point. Uh, it appeared to be a semi-automatic weapon. Thank you guys so much.